Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in, looking at the wrong camera again, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is uh, Friday, February 7th of 2020. It's uh, about almost 5 a.m., I just woke up a while ago from a short nap. Uh, I, as you can see, perhaps, maybe not. I am still running uh, Linux in Ubuntu, and I am not using my computer now as a dual boot. I have deleted. I've formatted the hard drive. And I am using just Linux. I'm using Ubuntu Studio. I've been using it for a few days. I haven't switched back to Windows. And I think finally, after all these years, I am free of Windows. Uh, I've done this before. Decided that I'm I'm just gonna just gonna run Linux and then. The same day sometimes. Sometimes the next day I'm back using Windows only. I always have a dual, usually have a dual boot and have Linux on there and very rarely do I ever go into it. I have now, I'm free. Thank God. Thank God I am free. Uh, I'm trying to think, well, let's see. I haven't had any problems, but of course there's a few things with Linux, even though I, in the past, bought a couple of those thick books on Linux years ago, which I have thrown away, I could now use. Uh, I uh, have now gone to two monitors again. Well, first one I switched to uh, Ubuntu here. Uh, my monitor, my 4K monitor, wants to come. Wanted to come up in 4K, and at first I, and then I, uh, then I went to 4K, and it was working out. I uh, there were the settings in. Uh, Ubuntu that let me go in and change sizes and whatever and I thought okay I can actually use you know 4k finally and uh, but then I thought because of doing YouTube videos I thought well, it would be really nice to have my second monitor and I have several of them uh, and so I set it up, and uh, so then I went to 1080p on my 4K monitor, and of course this is a 1080p monitor over here. So I have my LG 4K monitor, but in 1080 mode. Over here I have the I have a uh, ASUS, yes, an ASUS, and I've got the control for. OBS, and that's another nice thing. I did not know that uh, somebody or a group of people in Linux had uh, got together and are together, I guess, and uh, if you go to the OBS website, uh, you know, they support it for, what is it? Well, they don't, they don't have a Linux version. But the Linux people, the Ubuntu people and other, you know, other uh, strains or things like, I uh, oh, can't remember the other one I used for a few hours here. They have an o OBS uh, program 
that they are that they work working with. So hopefully, uh, well, right now, I mean, it's it's working. Let me drag it over here so you can see it. By the way, the control panel. There it is. That is the control panel. That that's the program, but I I'm keeping it over on the other monitor. Uh, and this is working out great. Um, because I more so than most, I need to know whether. When I need to be able to see this without taking up the space, you know for you all to see. And uh, so this is working great for me. So I do need to, though, learn more about OBS using it. Uh, audio has been actually the problem. <clears throat> I think that's because this uh, Ubuntu Studio comes with a ton of... Uh, the OB... The uh, no, the Ubuntu Studio is like I uh, can't remember the name of it. I just was using it. Well, wait a minute. It's in my uh, man. I wish I oh, it's further along. Ubuntu Studio. Oh, come on, it's got to be. Oh, okay, the Zoran Studio Ultima, which has everything in it. Uh, uh, forget what I was talking about. So, uh, oh, I need to be able to see and I need to uh, learn or the audio. Yeah, there's tremendous number because they have, oh, this software is set up for people who do, you know, are photographers or people who do video, create video, work with video, and what other. So we have photography, we have video, we have people who do music, uh, people who do art, graphics, and all that type of stuff that... that uh, when you download this, you get, you know, you get all, well, you have a choice with, I remember with uh, Ubuntu Studio, you know, when you go to do the install, uh, then there's a list and it's like, you know, the graphics, do you want those, all that stuff installed. Uh, video, do you want all the video stuff and so, of course, I took everything. Well, there's a whole bunch of audio things in there, and I think that makes it kind of when, you know, I have too many choices. Uh, Got to keep it simple for me. But, so, uh, here is Ubuntu Studio, where, you know, you can download it and install it. I'm using, of course, a version 19.10. And in April, uh they will be coming out with their version uh, 20.04. So I'll be looking forward to that. Um, I've mentioned to you a few times about uh, that I have links below sometimes uh, when I talk about something that I put the links below. And if you click on it, I get a commission. And I think I told you like the last month or so that I was expecting that month that I would, uh, I said you'd all been nice and a lot of you had purchased things using my link. And uh, that for the last two months, uh, it was less than $10. And Amazon doesn't even pay until you get ten dollars. You have to have more than ten dollars. And I told you I was expecting, you know, I, I that I thought looking at the numbers 
which, uh, let's see, I think we can do that here. You know, looking at the numbers, I was expecting, you know, 50 or $60. And then I, th I was, I think I said, you know, well, maybe it's not the, you know, maybe it takes a couple months to show up. Well, I think I can go here to payment history and show you that, uh, I'm going to be getting $40.90 this month. They pay at the, you know, at the end of the month. So, I mean, that's better than, uh, better than nothing. But I, uh, please use, you know, my link. You'll see it below. You'll see my links below for, uh, going there but by the way I'll do this again well let me do it over here if you just type in uh, Jim Howard dot me and so that's Jim Howard dot me and hit enter it takes you you know takes you here now you know, you don't have to click on any of these things here. You know, you can if you want to. That, there's little things that I've put together, which I'm not keeping updated as well as I should. But by using, you know, jimhoward.me or this link up here, if you can see it. If you can see that on, you can probably see it on your, uh, but it's below. If you come here, if, you know, if you come here and then uh, you search for something uh, here and then you click on it I should get a commission so especially if you're going to be purchasing something big you know please try to remember to use the link maybe you can bookmark it or do something with it um, As you can, uh, see, uh, this is like for 28 where I'm, I'm not, for, so this is, gives you a little bit of idea of, of like the last 28 days, I believe, so 28 days now, or is it seven days showing, uh, last 30 days, so. Um, now, as I mentioned before, probably freak some of you out. Um, I can come and see what people have purchased. Now, I have, I can, I, it doesn't tell me who you are, where you are, or anything else. So, uh, somebody purchased, and I saw that before, I think. Somebody purchased two of these lights that I told you about that clip on the top. And uh, now the one that's like $150, that's the first thing I, back a few months ago, I saw the, uh, the light. Well, I guess I can click on this and maybe open it in a new tab. Here it is. First, I saw a light like this that goes on the top of the and plugs into a USB, uh, you know, to power it. Uh, and it was like a hundred and I think a hundred and fifty dollars. And it, you know, it's a little bit better. I mean, it looks about the same, but it's a, the, the uh, hundred and fifty dollar one. I forget it. Uh, I think it touched touched it or something uh, this one has a inline switch that I have right down here but uh, anyway I, I'm on a limited income but that was like $150 the one I saw and I thought I I need that especially with my eyesight and with the fact that if I need to look at actually look at something let me turn this on 
Okay, and it's adjustable. You know, the different colors, what daylight, uh, daylight, sunlight, well, you know, different you know, different colors. And you can go up and down with it or whatever, but uh, I just turned it off here. But, uh, so, but then I found this one. I didn't purchase the other one. I found this one. This was a good deal. Apparently some of you agree because I'll, I guess I'll try to remember to put a link below again to this. But uh, let's go back to... Because somebody just purchased two. And I've noticed on here that... Uh, and this is one of my biggest videos. Uh, the, you know, how to hook up... Uh, two computers and use, you know, one keyboard, uh, one mouse, uh, mouse, keyboard, what else, speakers, you know, that type of stuff. And people are regularly purchasing this, uh, these cables. William Sound Police Talker Ultra, well, I don't even know what this is. Okay, I, I haven't talked about William Sound Pocket Talker Ultra Dual Sound Amplifier with headphone and earbuds. <clears throat> Amplify sound closest to listeners while reducing background noise. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did a video on a very inexpensive uh device like this I mean a very I mean I think it was what uh, 10 15 bucks or something and it sucked and uh, but now so somebody probably looked at that because you know I told people hey it sucks you know um, so this is uh, this is enough money that uh, Hey, D, you want to come up here, huh? Nope. Uh, it must be about an hour, within an hour of your feeding time. That's DDR cat. So, looks like this has got four and a half stars. So this finally, I mean, at this price, it should be, you know, uh, should work. So, um... Calvin Klein dress shirts. Spice World. Uh, that may be because I've uh, talked about the new pressure cooker that I got as a gift for Christmas. And I've been using it. So far it's been for potatoes. Uh, you know, eggs. And corn on the cob. And rice. And I still haven't, you know, uh, haven't expanded out, but uh, it's working out great. The only problem is, and it's the smallest one, we have no space on our counter in there, and uh, space could be made, except that's sort of my, my ex-wife, my grown son, and myself, we all share the this apartment and uh, ex the expenses on the apartment and uh, so I kind of leave that area to her especially since her she's her room is the uh, dining room that's where her bed is dining room kitchen are right there together and then she, of course, has a computer desk out in the living room area, so I confine myself to this cell right here. But, uh, so when I make something with the pressure cooker, and I clean it up and everything, and I bring it and put it back here until time to take it back out there. Uh, let's see, tabletop camera tripod, solar lights outdoor, Upgraded. I, I did reviews on. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. 
I did reviews back a while back on uh, a whole bunch of stuff like this. Not this one. And this is kind of expensive, too. And it has this has four and a half stars. So, uh, Okay, where was I? That's not it. Oh, okay. Somebody bought women's slippers. It's a USB charging port, eight. Let's see. I've got a bunch of things like that. Okay, I have. I think that's been maybe upgraded. That's the one I think I have that I reviewed. And it's four, it's four and a half stars. And it's... Uh, it's, it's good. I don't know where it is right now. It's, uh, here someplace. I've got a number of things. I've got this, let's see. I've got this one that, oh, wrong camera. Okay. I've got this one and, uh, on this one side, you know, the cables that, come out and then on the other side there's all these uh, you know ones over here to be used where you plug cables in and uh, plugs into you know the, in fact the cord is still because it was on the I, but the problem it just doesn't seem like there's uh, if I had more room in here if I had another desk over there or something I I just don't have room for stuff. Uh, so that's the uh, problem. But this, yeah, this is a nice one. And I have, I'm sure it's the same one. I mean, upgraded. I think they've upgraded it because I got it a few years ago. And, uh, You know what I would like to have now is because I've got arthritis uh, really bad and um, bending, you know, just bending over to pick up something I drop. Um, thought I had CNN up here. Well, let's go here. Now, where would CNN be? Well, I'll just enter CNN. Um, whoops, that didn't work. No, enter it in down here. Okay. You know, just bending over to... Uh, plug in something or pick up something that I and and I've got my computer my you know down under because I don't have a lot of room this is a I remember I did have a really big de desk but this it took up a lot of room but I had it for years and loved it but I got a smaller desk that was very easy to put together no drawers or anything like that. Very easy to put together and smaller. And so there's r more room on both sides. And so that's working out. But there's the same desk, but you can get it slightly larger. I think it's only about $100. But it's a little, I think that's one that's a little bit bigger than this one. Same, same make, just designed the same way, just slightly bigger so I'm, I'd like to get that and then I could put some of this type of stuff that I have uh, you know on that desk maybe because I you know they're just just isn't the room uh, another case of somebody being shot or killed while you know live streaming that's this thing up here I mean, it's, so many people are doing it. I mean, live streaming and doing that. Or this guy was, you know, apparently, I think, walking in New York City, I believe. Uh, now, I've been seeing for the last few days on CNN that uh, 
a young doctor in China died of this new virus, but I didn't know the story. I did not know that he, I just thought that he was a doctor who noticed it, which I guess was, did, you know, that he noticed it and, uh, you know, was, uh, but apparently, you know, and then he died from it, you know, because I remember, you know, that he was sick with it. Now he's died. Well, I guess what the deal is, I actually haven't read this story. I guess, you know, that in this province in China, Wuhan, I guess, probably I'm saying it wrong. You know, he noticed it at the hospital and then he started spreading the word, you know, about it. And I guess the Chinese government or however they work, um, you know, told him not to be spreading word about this. And uh, I'm not sure when they said he was punished or whatever. And then he contracted it and now he has died from it. So because in the beginning, you know, China, like all nations, but well, they're worse, I'm sure, you know, well, not worse than all of them, but, uh, you know, didn't want any information going out about something. Like they, there's a thing on here that North Korea has not reported any cases. Well, you know North Korea has it, but they're not going to, you know, h half of their population could die of uh, a virus and they wouldn't say, you know, they wouldn't say anything. They would totally deny it, you know. I'm not going to get into politics big, except, you know, a little bit here. Uh, the uh, Senate voted to uh, not remove Donald Trump from office. I did a raving and ranting video, do not, <laughs> a few days ago. Don't watch it. Uh, you know, it was a political. Well, it started out, I didn't intend, I, so I hope I don't ramble off into that area. Uh, it didn't start out to be, and I said in the beginning of that video, well, I'm not going to get into politics, except, you know, I'm going to mention, and then before long, it was raving, ranting, and screaming, and me throwing stuff, and falling on the floor, and kicking and screaming. Um... But anyway, the Senate did not remove. Uh, and I think in that video someplace I had uh, talked about the fact that uh, history was going to look back on all of this and the Republicans, in my opinion, uh, would, would come out really looking bad and all of the senators, Republican senators, would... Uh, I mean, they'd probably be dead by the time the movie or whatever it is comes out. But they would go down and, you know, in history, they'd be remembered and they wouldn't be remembered well. And I believe in that video that I mentioned, you know, that Mitt Romney is, has not, he's not one of those, he's a Republican senator from Utah. He's a Mormon and he's never been one of the extreme right-wing, you know, Republicans. He's a Republican. And so in my opinion, you should never vote for any Republican. But he's never been one of the right-wing haters. Um, but my, my problem with him has always been, well, one, he's a Republican. <laughs> but seriously... Um, like I said, he's a Mormon, and he's senator from Utah, which is a Mormon state. Uh, he, for some reason, has the, uh, I don't know whether to say a, opinion or whatever, that, but he, it's like that he thinks that he's entitled to the presidency, that he should, that it's just natural that because of his family history and everything, that he 
you know, the time, I guess like maybe a Kennedy at some point, you know, because John F. Kennedy and Robert Kennedy and whatever. That, uh, But I mean, with Mitt Romney, it really, it's really, he exudes a saying that I, he doesn't say it maybe, you know, that I am entitled to be president, uh, naturally, you know, whatever. So I wondered what he was going to do as a Republican in the Senate and because of history. And I'm not sure if I actually said it because I intended to say it, but then when I, when I get into the <laughs> political things, you know, I have no idea where I'm going to go, you know, with it. But uh, so I wondered, you know, because he's the only one that I could think of who might care that in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, 100 years, that if he were, you know, portrayed as being a bad person, that that might, so I wondered what he was going to do. But I didn't actually think he was going to vote along with the Democrats. He's the only one, Republican, that did in one of the two, or, Obstruction of no was uh, contempt of the, I forget what the charge was, contempt of Congress or whatever, obstruction of whatever. So he did vote for that. But then he made his, you know, he also made a speech, you know, about that he's, because of his religion and he took an oath under God, you know, and it's important and whatever. So, I don't know if, uh, well, let me see if I can pull that up, or let's see, movie 1776, uh, trailer, okay, this is the trailer for this movie. Mr. Adams! Mr. Adams! Mr. Adams! Well, there you are. Didn't you hear me calling you, Mr. Adams? You could have shouted down something to save me climbing up four flights. For a man that likes to talk as much as you do, I think... <laughs> what do you keep coming up here for, Mr. Adams? Afraid someone's gonna steal our bell? <laughs> Well, don't worry. Been here more than 14 years and ain't been carried off once. <laughs> That's a Liberty Bell. Better get yourself back down to Congress, Mr. Adams. Getting ready to vote, and they said they couldn't settle such an important question without Massachusetts being there. I can just imagine. All right. Burning issue are we voting on this time? On whether or not to grant General Washington's request that all members of the Rhode Island militia be required to wear matching uniforms. Oh, good God. Okay, that was. Uh, <laughs> that didn't seem like a trailer to me. Uh. Okay, wait a minute here. Very well. The Congress will now vote on Virginia's resolution on independence. Thank you for coming, Caesar. And God bless you, sir. So, uh, this is not a great example of what I wanted to say, but in this uh, movie, 1776, it's about the, you know, the writing of the Declaration of Independence and the, uh, you know, uh, 13 states, 13 colonies, you know, deciding on things and wording being changed and all that type of stuff going on. And, you know, it, it comes down to, and then all of this because of 
the situation, you know, of the colonies going to declare their independence from the king, uh, that it had to be unanimous. If it, you know, if, if even one of the colonies, you know, refused to approve it, uh, you know, all was lost, and and I guess there wouldn't have been a wouldn't have been a declaration of independence, and I guess they would apologize to the uh, king and uh, hope that their heads weren't chopped off or something. So it comes down to you know this is the point. This is not very good video. I think somebody recorded it off of a TV screen or whatever. But the movie is good, 1776. And so it comes down, of course, they, you know, they've compressed things. It's a movie, you know. And the way it shows here is, you know, all of the, you know, the 13 colonies finally come to agreement. And they're all, they all sign it, you know, at this, and actually it, I think it was the way they had to do it, you know, because of communications and locations and, uh, you know, that actually the thing was written finally. <clears throat> and I don't know who all signed it, but then the others popped in, you know, for, would make it over from their colony. And uh, But here it's, you know, and we see pictures of, not pictures, but, you know, drawings or paintings or whatever, of all of them sitting there. But... So it didn't happen happen exactly this way, but so in this movie you see these people who we don't make sure there's, you know, Thomas Jefferson and Adams and Benjamin Franklin and whatever names that we know. But you also you see the vote and how difficult it is for some of them to do it, but they sign, you know, after their course they have permission from their colony, you know, whatever to sign, they, uh, you know, they sign. And you, you see the vote here, and they're, you know, you know their name from watching this, this movie, these people that, and, uh, but a much better example of this, something like this, is the movie which I didn't think that I would, you know, I thought, okay, let's see. Okay. Please show me, okay, here it is, the official trailer for them. This is, okay, it's only two minutes and 21 seconds. I think we can watch the entire This is the trailer for the movie Lincoln which We here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom that government of the people by the people for the people shall not perish from the earth. We can't tell our people they can vote yes on abolishing slavery unless at the same time we can tell them that you're seeking a negotiated peace. It's either the amendment or this Confederate peace. You cannot have both. How many hundreds of thousands have died during your administration? Congress must never declare equal those whom God created unequal. Read the Constitution alone. We are stepped out upon the world stage now with the fate of human dignity in our hands. Blood's been spilled to afford us this moment now, now, now. Abraham Lincoln has asked us to work with him to accomplish the death of slavery. No one's ever been loved so much by the people. Don't waste that power. This fight is for the United States of America. Do we choose to be born, or we fitted to the times we're born into? Well, I don't know about myself. Yes. You may be. Uh, 
uh, I thought, you know, when I heard about the movie Lincoln, okay, I've seen the other Lincoln movies. I know the history, uh, whatever. I did not know about, I knew about the Emancipation Proclamation. And I knew, you know, that uh, <clears throat> Lincoln had used war powers, you know, executive orders or whatever to do stuff that, and what he did was, I knew that uh, because the southern states were in rebellion against the rest of the United States, that he seized their property, which were slaves. Of course, I'm sure he, he, he you know, seized other things, railroads or other stuff, but with the uh, proclamation, you know, he seized their contraband, their uh, slaves, and he seized them, and then he freed them. But when the war would come to an end, and that's what the movie is, you know, well, I mean, the movie is it's just great, absolutely great, as you I think you can tell, absolutely great. The the problem that he has is when the southern states are going to rejoin, they can go to what he wanted him, what he wanted, you know, that they, he never considered them, you know, as a foreign group. He never thought they had the right to leave, and uh, so they would should be welcomed back. And so then what they could have done was, and that's covered in this movie, and that's sort of the, I mean, the other thing, other things are covered, you know. Uh, a lot of other things are covered, but fantastic movie, Lincoln. But the problem that he had was when they came back, they could just do a lawsuit, you know, go through the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court would say, uh, well, wait a minute, uh, the president didn't have the right to... Of course, by the way, that proclamation only covered uh, slaves that were in the states that left you know, the ones in the northern states or in Missouri or something, whether that wouldn't have covered them. And so, but anyway, the southern states could have uh, gone to the court and say our property was illegally, you know, uh, taken. And the Supreme Court, I don't know what the number, I'm sure probably, uh, probably the majority of the Supreme Court justices were probably from southern states. Uh, they would have just ruled yes that, and then the uh, slaves, if they could be located and caught or whatever, could be you know. So he had to get this. He had to get a constitutional amendment passed, an amendment to the con, which is difficult to do. Uh, he had to get it passed, and then that movie covers his wheeling and dealing and uh, bribery. You know, going to some uh, House of Representative members that he needed their votes and saying, how would you like to be a judge? How would you like to be a postmaster? Or, you know, just doing whatever he could to get, and it was close. And so you see, and then in this movie, you see these little people, you know, members of the House of Representatives, but agonizing over, you know, because their people back home are not in favor of uh, this uh, amendment to the Constitution that totally outlaws slavery in the United States and any place that the United States has sovereignty or control over. And so that's the, the theme of the movie, along with, of course, other things are thrown in there. And it's just a great movie, but you see these little people, these members of the house, agonizing over, you know, and then, you know, the the voting. And you see people voting no against, you know, voting against the uh, amendment to the Constitution and people voting for it. And their names, you know, 
we see their names. We see them. I'm not sure how accurate, you know, that, you know, because it is a movie, but still. It is really powerful. And then with this fiasco that we just had, uh, so anyway, these, you know, all these people in the movie Lincoln, you know, all dead, been dead a long time, but, you know, we see, we see them, and we see them vote and how they vote, and it's, you know, it's, of course, been recorded in, in history, and so the same thing is going to happen with, uh, this impeachment thing with, uh, President Donald Trump, or whatever, though, I don't know how long, I th I'm, I'll be 79 next month, I believe. I, I don't think I'll be around to see it, but there'll be a movie made, or maybe it'll be something different than a movie, maybe it'll be, you know, in, I don't know, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, 100 years, you know, 3D, 4D, uh, you know, whatever, filling the room, it'll be like, I don't know what it'll be like, you know, you'll be watching uh, this video or movie about this entire time in history or whatever, and maybe you'll be actually sitting without goggles or anything, maybe you'll actually be sitting right there or able to walk around and uh, stand actually next to uh, the you know, in the trial room or something. It, but, but still, then it's going to be recorded that all of the Republicans, every one of them, were terrified of President Donald Trump and that they, you know, that they took that special oath that they had to take as to be impartial and... Uh, do the facts and do the right thing and not uh, do just what the party, you know, wanted. And uh, so you're going to, and then it's going to, you know, you're going to see all of them except for one, all of the Republicans except for one, and you're going to see, you know, you're going to see them and you're going to know their names. And... except for, you know, for one, and, you know, Mitt Romney or whatever. So he will come out in the thing because he makes his little speech about, you know, God, and he took an oath and he has to do the right thing. So he'll come out, and, of course, maybe not because if, when it is made, I mean, time is going to pass, hopefully. Uh, but... Uh, I mean, these people have, for the moment, you know, knuckled under to a tyrant and out of fear and out of all of they, all they care about is retaining their, you know, their Senate seat. That's all they care about. The country, you know, God does not come first. The country, the United States of America doesn't come first. The only thing that comes first is, you know, they're keeping their seat. And uh, so that's going to come down. But of course, with the eyes of history, you know, if Trump is reelected for four more years, who knows what he's got one more year to go in this, you know, uh, how is the United States going to, you know, there may be, uh, after him, there may be eventually the end of the Republican Party and a new party, and maybe, which would might be good, you know, instead of having two parties, we might have three or four parties, or, you know, things might change. Uh, but uh, it's going to be, if I were, of course, would I care, you know, I I think I would care that, uh, and I think Mitt Romney, 
is somebody who would care if if a hundred years from now, you know, he's going to be dead. Uh, when something, when history books are written, when the final version and when a movie or whatever it's going to be is made, that uh, these other people, you know, they don't care. They, it's here and now, right now, these Republicans, they want to keep their Senate seat uh, and they want, of course, they want also, of course, you know, that the Republic, because their power is diminished and they can't, you know, get as many donations and all that kind of stuff if their party isn't in control. Right now the party is, the Democrats are now in control of the House of Representatives and the Senate controls, you know, the Republicans control the Senate. Uh, they definitely don't want to uh, have the Democrats get gain control because then the Republicans have less, you know, ability to pass tax breaks for the millionaires and billionaires or whatever and all that type of all that type of stuff. But so it's going to be interesting. Uh, President made his State of the Union address. I never watch it or whatever, but I actually did. I never watch it, not just because I just, I went through that in my other video, my raving and ranting video, why I don't watch State of the Union and that type of, and that was a, <laughs> all the points that I made about the reasons I don't watch it were exactly, but I did catch a little bit of it, uh, and I did listen to a little bit of it, a small amount, uh, on uh, you know CNN or CNN over uh, Echo or whatever. Actually, I, my thing is over there, but you know the Amazon thing. But I don't use the word Echo. It's actually my ex-wife uses that. You know, uses Echo in the other room. I use the other word. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to upload this. I think the audio is finally going to be okay with this. And I've been using for, well, sort of for visit, you know. Oh, that's right. I don't think it'll be ready, though. Hillary, my, you know, grown daughter, she had her uh, grown. She, was, she li lives in an apartment on the second floor, so she was out on the patio. And she was up there, and she was flying her, her drone around, and I, I got some video of it. But I, so. I was gonna put it at the end of this video, but I, it's not ready. And, uh, but anyway. Uh, thank you for watching. Please, you know, give a thumb up, thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you're not. I have for years been. I have less than three thousand. It's close. But it's been close uh, to 3,000 for, uh, I don't know, for how long, forever. So please subscribe. It'd be nice to get to the 3,000 point because I've been trying to get to it for years. But anyway, thank you very much for watching.